Hi, I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and today we're going to discuss life insurance. How exciting! When you purchased a life insurance policy, whether that was last year or decades ago, you probably worked through questions like, how much insurance do I need? What additional insurance or rider should I add? How long do I want it to last? And where and whom do I buy it from? Based on the information you had at the time, you probably made the best decision for you and your family and obtained a policy. But how long has it been since you revisited that policy? Do you know if it's still right for you or if the premiums you're paying are worth the benefit? Here's what to think about when you review your life insurance policy. First, the premiums. Life insurance has two main categories, permanent and term. Whole life and universal life are examples of permanent life insurance. And depending on your policy and its features, it can guarantee that your premiums will stay at the same rate for the rest of your life or for as long as you hold on to the policy. Generally speaking, permanent insurance has a higher premium than term insurance. Like it sounds, term insurance is for a set term, typically 10, 20, or 30 year options. However, like I mentioned, premiums for permanent policies are typically higher than those of term life possibly six to 10 times higher. So if you want a policy that will last for the rest of your life and you can find it at a reasonable rate, a permanent policy could be your answer. However, if you need a policy that has lower payments, then we need to look at term or structure the policy to fit your needs. The benefit amount, also known as the death benefit, is what your policy is worth in dollar value and what your family will receive after your passing. Whole life and term life and universal life all have different benefit amounts to choose from, with options anywhere from 50,000 to tens of millions of dollars. Whichever policy you have or are considering, make sure the benefit amount is enough to take care of any remaining mortgage payments, tuition fees, ongoing medical costs, legacy planning, or other expenses your current income covers. A basic rule of thumb is the death benefit amount should equal 10 times the annual salary of the person who just passed. When choosing a life insurance policy, we'll help you identify what you need and who you need to protect and how much money you'll need to do just that. Once we have gathered all the pertinent information, we'll compare the premiums to the benefit options offered, both for term life or whole life insurance policies. Then see how the quoted premiums fit into your budget and make a decision that makes sense for your family. In closing, Again, I would be remiss not to mention that most financial advisors only focus in one or two areas of the financial planning spectrum. They may only do stock market-based investments or may only recommend annuities. I designed Trajan Wealth to help our valued clients with most everything in the financial planning category. Legacy planning and life insurance is one of the many aspects we can help with, and I have specialists in this area. So if you'd like help evaluating your life insurance policy and coverage, or just want to know more about protecting your assets, we would be honored to be your unbiased source of advice. I'm Jeff Jr., and until next time, take care.